Is there anyone in the room who cannot speak uh, Polish? Oh, okay. So the presentation will be provided in English. So we'll keep English for whole day long. Okay, my name is uh, Ryszard Dalkowski. I work for Microsoft for some years. Um, and uh, last three, three years I, I work with open source in Microsoft. And uh, you, probably, you probably think, what the hell is Microsoft doing here? And uh, gonna talk about open source, Microsoft? Be, f be frank, who, who thought like this? Okay, guys. So it's, you're brave. So something for you. Hey, uh, so to, to prove that I'm the right guy in the right place, so I will tell you the story. I will tell you the story about cooperation, Microsoft and open source companies and open source uh, software. So let's do it quick. Uh, in 2005, in Microsoft, uh, we formed a team, very small team, uh, who the, the team was focused on, on open source, open source on our platform, with uh, three main pillars. The first thing was uh, play well with others, so play well with, uh, with other uh, software, other platforms, other, uh, other companies. Uh, listen more to our customers and build our crowd very open. And the team was, uh, as I told you, very small. Uh, f right now we have 40, 45 people like me. Uh, internally, we, uh, the name is CSI, externally open source strategy leads. So guys who work with, uh, with uh, open source communities like you. Uh, why? Because uh, many customers use open source all together with, uh, with our platform, with, with our software. So we decided to cooperate. And after three, three years of, uh, of, the, of this uh, work with this, this team, we gathered extremely high numbers of open source software on Microsoft platform. So we decided to keep moving. Uh, this direction, and we gathered some some good feedback and good uh, good real, uh, res results for uh, for this for this job. Uh, okay, do we have do we have anyone who never use Windows, just use hundred percent Linux? One guy, great. So you probably know, if you are really Linux user and uh, Linux fa fan, that two years ago, Microsoft was uh, the fifth contributor to uh, ker Linux kernel, and uh, our, uh, our employee was uh, the number one developer of Linux. It was very fun for, for many communities, but because uh, more, most people never, never heard about it. That, that a huge bunch of uh, Linux kernel is written by, by Microsoft. And why we did this? Of course, because we need to cooperate. We need to virtualize Linux on, on Windows and uh, vice versa. Another, another big move, as you probably heard, uh, Apache Foundation. Uh, Microsoft is... Uh, Platinum sponsor of Apache Foundation, and we cooperate close with uh, with Apache, especially right now, especially on Hadoop. We decided not to uh, rebuild our own solution for big data, but we we invest uh, we invest m m more work into Hadoop and cop and uh, work uh, of Hadoop on Windows and on Windows Azure. And one more thing, who knows what is PHP? Oh, great. So, PHP. 
So I'm, I'm in a good place. Uh, as you probably know, PHP formerly was uh, done only for Linux, and Microsoft was trying to do something to get PHP on, on Windows. Uh, f last year, communities, PHP communities work so close with Microsoft that uh, new versions of PHP uh, are, are released parallel for Linux and Windows. So there is no, no delay between, between versions for, for both platforms. So it is a quite huge investment, not, not from our side, it's uh, from your side, from PHP communities. And it is uh, great for us. So, one more thing, well, maybe two more things. We decided to do something for you and release more and more documentation of uh, our protocols, our technologies, and you can find it. You can find it. Uh, not maybe not very easy find because uh, because uh, some search engines don't want to index this but uh, you can find it on the these sites and who knows who, who have you ever mm, heard about uh, about open specification promise anyone no okay so just read it open specification pro pro promise you can find everything every every piece of documentation we published wherever on this website uh, with very detailed specification for example of uh, of uh, binary binary formats of office the old the older version uh, of course uh, the new protocols the new uh, the new office uh, f files and this kind of stuff, which sometimes people raise their hands and uh, tell, oh, Microsoft is hiding something. No, we don't. Everything is published, but you must try to find it. And the last but not least of these of this, uh, investments, uh, the two websites, one, called stand, uh, one is called standardcollection.com, where you can find all standards and documentation uh, not only ours, not only ours, but the different companies with uh, the rights, with the license information and this kind of stuff. And the another way, uh, another thing is uh, Patent Tracker. Patent Tracker, we published, we published all Microsoft owned patents on the internet. You can find the name of the patents and uh, specification of this. And uh, this is the only this is the only um, this initiative, uh, as far as I know, from the commercial companies on the market. So, with this, with this uh, exchange of information, uh, we can cooperate. And uh, Commerce Guys is a good example how to cooperate with Microsoft, because. Three years ago, when we tried to, to set up Drupal on our cloud, there is a very good point from MSDN forum. After four days, the guy didn't succeed to start Drupal on Windows Azure, on Microsoft Cloud. And now, now it takes a few minutes only. And how it's possible? We will see it. Uh, how it was possible? In 2010, in 2010 uh, guys from CEO from uh, Commerce Guys decided that not only to work with communities, not only to sell to show their solution to communities and to the small companies, but to go into enterprise market. How to get the easiest way to, to get into enterprise market? Of course, use database, which is the most popular on the enterprise market, and not very, not very expensive. So they decided to prepare a SQL Server driver for Drupal to, to make it possible to use, uh, to use a SQL Server directly from, from Drupal. They, and it opened the door to, to enterprise market. 
And after that, they invested more, more, more work into Drupal to, to, um, to work with uh, Windows and with uh, Windows Azure. And they, they started in, uh, they, they started use of Microsoft BSpark. I will tell you more about, about it later. And they won the prize as uh, the best, the best uh, um, startup in, in Europe in 2012. And they prepared Drupal in Microsoft Web Gallery. So I will show you what does it mean. screen okay and if if you want to if you want if you want to start Drupal on uh, on Windows Azure it's uh, now quite quite easy because uh, this is a um, interface of Windows Azure cloud cloud solution from Microsoft and uh, I will not talk about all this all this stuff but just show you how to start Drupal on the, on the Windows Azure, on the cloud. Okay, you can, you can start your website for, as a quick create, as it's only placeholder for your website. Uh, custom create, if you have something ready on your computer, you can publish this here, or you can start it from gallery. In gallery, you can find uh, almost all the most important uh, open source solutions for, for example, for CMS, for e-commerce. Of course, you can find it uh, the old version of Kickstart. And Drupal. To install and to make it uh, working, uh, to, you, you have to provide just a few, the most important information for this, uh, for this uh, installation. Of course, the name. You want, to, you have to choose. So, what kind of uh, database, and uh, you want to use? You can use MySQL on our cloud, and you can use, of course, SQL. Thanks to Commerce Guys. You can use uh, database you have or create a new one. And you have to choose the region. So where your website will be, uh, will be working on. And uh, let's choose North Europe. Of course, user. Oh gosh. Okay. This is the, the, the most okay. I hope it's I choose the server, I choose uh, for database, I choose the or, or I, I can create the new one. And same. It's uh, quite important to to choose the right region. The same uh, the same region should be uh, chosen for database and for the website. Why? We will tell it later. And that's all. So your Drupal will be set up in a, min in a minute. Of course, I prepared uh, one installation up and running before. 
just to show it works. Okay, let's get back to... And not only commerce guys, but, uh, but more uh, companies engaged in, uh, in uh, deploy, deployment and uh, development of uh, Drupal on uh, Windows Azure, with some major steps you have on the slides. But last year, one of the biggest Drupal websites, I think in the world, maybe for, for, for sure in the US, Screen Actors Guild Awards. Uh, it is a website uh, um, driven by, by commerce guys, which, uh, which was formerly on, in their, or some, somewhere there in the data center, and they decided to move this stuff to Windows Azure. Uh, the funny thing was that uh, the, the huge website was moved completely in uh, not more than two days, from, from the data center to Windows Azure, and, uh, and it, uh, it was uh, pretty, pretty good, well done, and uh, it is very, very co convenient for, uh, for um, hosting companies, so in this kind of, for, for um, commerce guys. Let's show why. Okay, in the meantime, our new website has been, has been set up, and now Drupal is going to be installed. Of course, I don't want to, to show you how Drupal is installing. Uh, is anyone who never, never watch how Drupal is installing? Okay, so let's leave it. But let's look at this at this website. So Drupal Camp Wrocław, we have monitoring of, uh, how, of the performance of the website. We have some more information, which uh, I cover later. But I told that Screen Actors Guild Award website was very, uh, very convenient for, for uh, the hoster to, to use. Why? Because it's very easy to manage the scale of this website. When you have a website on the cloud, you don't have to set up uh, the server right now. You don't have to decide what size of server you want to have. You can start with a free subscription, like here, so which is uh, not very powerful, but good enough to, to start this. And without any interruption, you can, you can switch to with free subscription, you can have uh, one instance of, of, the, of the application in a cloud, but uh, you can move very easy to shared subscription and then scale it for more instances. In a shared subscription, you can have uh, maximum six instances, pretty, pretty big. And of course, you can add uh, more you can add more place uh, on the, uh, in your database. Yeah, question. Instances, it's like uh, you have, uh, let's say, entity of, uh, the question was uh, how to explain the instances. It's like uh, entity of application in a cloud. So let's say like three servers. Parallel. That's like something like cluster, but it's not. Uh, uh, it's not the same. It's not the same like uh, three computers side by side, but it is, let's say, comparable because it is instance of application running on a cloud. 
So maximum on this infrastructure, uh, you can have six instances. And of course, you can decide to, to go for your own. It is comparable to virtual private servers. Then you can, and in this such, uh, in this instance, you can, you can choose what, what uh, um, size of server you have. So you can have the small, medium, or large. Four core, seven gigs, map, and 10 servers. And you can turn it on without any interruption. But be aware, it's paid. <laughs> Without any interruption to, to your website. So it's uh, completely, completely uh, no interruption for, for your website and for your work. OK, it's still working on. So what is Windows Azure? It is infrastructure for your website. It can be, of course. Uh, you, can ask, you can ask, is it big enough for me? So I can, I can tell you that this is not the one room with some servers, like you can see here. Um, it is about a few hundred servers, maybe 600, maybe 300. Not, not, very, not very much. It is not uh, one container, or even four containers, 1,200 uh, 1, servers in each container. And it is not even one data center. It is a slightly more. This is uh, one of our data centers from, from Quincy. Uh, and this is a uh, football, football size. Uh, Paul. So it is a little bit more. It is cloud, not data center, not hosting solution. It is cloud. And uh, on each continent, we have uh, more, two or more uh, data centers and about 24, 24 parts of uh, content delivered networks. Uh, points of access to the network. So it is a quite huge solution. I think it should be enough for website or some websites. And of course, not only data center is important, but uh, the software which is, uh, which is managing this, this uh, stuff. You can have, uh, of course, compute power as a cloud service, as a virtual machines, or websites. You can have uh, data management in, uh, in databases and in, uh, in blobs if you have to have different kind of data, not relational data, no text data, but different kind of data, you can have it on blobs. For example, uh, virtual machine hard disk are in blobs. What more? Of course, networking. So you can have, uh, you can have your network outside of your, of your company. You can have manage, um, all staff of managing this network. You can have it here. And of course, many, many technologies and, uh, and uh, running applications you can, you can need. So you can, want, you can write uh, in any, almost any language, a programming language you, you, you want. Yeah. Is anyone who wants not to have a cloud solution, but virtual machine in a cloud? It's better, yeah? OK, so just use it. You can have, uh, on, on Azure, you can have a virtual machine with Linux. You can have a virtual machine with uh, Windows, of course. It's apparently. And is it easy to use?
I think it is. It is a very similar gallery, like, uh, like showed before. You can start a virtual machine as a quick create, so if you have your own on your computer, you can upload it to, to the cloud. And you can start from gallery. It is, uh, as an example, I can use, uh, I used uh, OpenSUSE. The most important uh, stuff is, of course, of course uh, the name of the machine and the password. <laughs> and please try to remember password. With virtual machine, there is a different, there is a different uh, point with size because you must you must choose your size for machine right now. But of course, you can you can size it later and change the scale. Once again, region, now you know why. Because uh, you choose which uh, data center is, uh, is uh, running your machine. It is important not only from technical standpoint, but it is very important uh, almost uh, for everybody. I mean, not only techni techni technical, but uh, the law. Uh, it, there is a different law about uh, data in uh, Europe and different in uh, Asia, different in the US, as you probably know. You can ask, does it really work? Is anyone who use it, a virtual machine of, from Linux, with uh, Linux on, on Windows? Uh, in fact, it is. Have you ever heard about web security portal? If not, I recommend it for you because of the content and because, of course, it is a Ubuntu server. If network works. It is Ubuntu server with WordPress. No boo, no boo. No? Well, okay. Uh, okay, I'm, in, in my private life, I'm not Drupal. I'm Joomla. Okay, so, boo! <laughs> okay, so it is Ubuntu server with, uh, let's try to switch. Okay. Some problems with network now. Okay. Okay, let's leave it. Don't waste our time. But check it and try try more. So web security PL and Przepisy PL for is any anyone who like good cuisine is cooking? So go to Przepisy PL and try this website. It is a, a Linux application uh, from uh, Knorr moved to, to the website. 400,000 uh, registered users on this. Okay. And the other kind of services, Windows Azure website, which I showed you before. You can very easy start your website with, uh, with Microsoft Cloud. Uh, it can be any kind of website. You can write your application, which is, which is website-based. You can write your uh, own application, or you can use uh, ready application uh, or open source apps. Maybe let's, uh... okay, so is anything free in this stuff? Uh, part of Azure, not huge, but part of Azure is fr completely free, and I will cover this uh, in a minute. But we have some free tools for developers and for maybe for administrators, because developers have al al always their own 
tools, but uh, administrators sometimes need to change something easy uh, in a website and publish this again. So, do we have any tools for this? First one is, is a web platform installer. If you know, is anyone here who use for day by day work a laptop or notebook with uh, Windows? Hmm. No Linux, just Windows. So to make it easier to to install any open source CMS, for example, on on Windows, uh, we prepared something called web platform installer. And you can find here some applications. You can install it in a few clicks on your web, on your computer, locally on your computer, uh, with all de dependencies configured, uh, configured to, to run your website locally. So it is uh, very convenient. You don't have to find uh, the newest build of uh, MySQL database. You don't have to find uh, the patches uh, or uh, newest build of uh, connectors, whatever. Because if you start to installing something, who knows our chat? No one? Okay, let's try. It is just a few clicks and it should work if we have a uh, right connection, uh, because all dependencies, all patches, all uh, add-ons are installed in, in, one, in one session. This is the, the most convenient stuff from Web Platform Installer. And it installs IIS and configure it to work with this, uh, with this application you, you want to install. Okay, let's leave it. And the other other stuff is is called web matrix. And web matrix is more for developing websites and it can be used as a, let's say kind of backup because you can take your website from windows azure download it and install on your on your local machine okay Web Matrix is launching. Two parallel info, um, installations on this uh, network is not uh, okay. And now your website from uh, from Windows Azure is downloading to your machine. And of course, as before, as with Web Platform Installer, all dependencies are downloaded and installed and configured on the machine. Okay, to make it quick, I will stop this uh, download. Oh, we have some. And open other downloaded websites. It can be. A uh, few months ago, I, I attended a Drupal conference in uh, Latvia, in uh, Riga, and uh, showed the same. And I have this website still here.
Any questions? So far. Pricing policy. Yeah. Uh, the question was about pricing policy. Yeah, and uh, and uh, how it is comparable to Amazon. So let's be frank. All cloud uh, vendors have similar, very similar prices. Uh, we maybe we are cheaper in database, but they are cheaper in uh, different or or vice versa. So it is almost the same. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you charge per uh, process time or you charge for database and or maybe you charge for requests or something like that? Uh, it's better to, to take a look at uh, pricing. And in the meantime, meantime, you have a local copy of uh, Latvia Drupal Camp, Baltics. And we can manage the files, we can uh, edit this and publish again. And uh, when you publish uh, the, the, the stuff, you, you change. Only difference are, the, only, only files differ, uh, then uh, only files change are published to, to, to the original website. So you don't have to publish whole sites, you publish just the uh, change the files. Okay, the pricing policy you can you can count it out, uh, on your own, of course, because the, the price list is published. It is not very easy. <laughs> it, it is not very easy, <laughs> of course, because uh, you have to know, you have to know very well uh, what what you want, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do, what what will, uh, your size. Uh, what will be the size of your website? What will be the traffic? So you can you can choose uh, you can choose uh, different um, different solutions for the for the um, for the website. And uh, it's not uh, linear. Yeah. It's not linear. Okay, uh, but maybe you have some presets like at uh, Amazon, for example, media website, corporate website. Mm -hmm. Could you show? For example, two, two virtual machines uh, in size S, it cost you, but not so easy. Because if you pay, if you pay as you go, this is what you pay. But if you take, for example, six months plan, you don't have, um, you don't pay for two machines in this size. You pay for a bunch of web, web services and you can use it as you want. So you can, you can play with, uh, in one subscription, you can play with different, different kind of uh, applications, different, different kind of websites. You can start few, some websites as a free, the, the smallest, and when uh, they perform very well, you can switch them to shared or to dedicated and pay for this and switch others to free. So you can you can perfectly manage what you what you're gonna use, and uh, how you spend your money. Uh, and any backups? Any backup solution for, for this? Yeah. So when you publish any data on uh, Windows Azure, uh, each each uh, let's say each uh, data is uh, is uh, written down three times. It's uh, in in price. If you want to have backup, especially dedicated backup, you can check it on uh, and, uh, and pay for this, of course. But uh, you have uh, three copies of your data in, in, in this uh, solution. If you want to have a copy, for example, data uh, backup uh, locally, you can, you can use it with, uh, like, uh, do it with web, web, web matrix or, or different, different solution, which is dedicated for, for the application. I use uh, dedicated backup for my Joomla sites to, to have it to, to have it on on uh, on FTP site. 
So just play with calculator and you can find uh, uh, what is the, the best for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And more of this. Uh, first of all, Windows Azure is for first 90 days free. And uh, Windows Azure websites service is free for 12, 12 more months with, of course, with limited performance with, uh, in, in a special subscription. But uh, anyone who here in the room has a company, not very big company, no more than, uh, than $500,000 uh, per year of revenue, no more, okay? <laughs> so you can, you, can, you can go for BizSpark. BizSpark is a Microsoft offering for, for the, small, the smallest company, for startups, and you pay $300 after three years, after three years, uh, just for, for Microsoft, because you have every, every software, every piece of software we, we produce during these three years, and a bunch of uh, Windows Azure. Of course, uh, for companies which are not uh, developing solutions, but uh, for example, more uh, advertising agency, there is a, another program called Website Spark. Very similar, but not a developer solution, more, uh, more uh, websites. If you want to play, if you want to play with uh, virtual machines ready, not to prepare this and not to make it uh, happen. Oh, maybe you want to prepare your own. Go for VM Depot. Uh, last year, Microsoft uh, raised the, the small company called M Microsoft Open Technologies, which is 100% open source company. And these guys are working with... Okay, let's leave it. Uh, these guys are working only on open source solutions and they started to, to have a virtual machine depot. You can download a virtual machine ready, for example, with Drupal, uh, Drupal Commerce too, and, uh, and play with this on Azure. You can publish this machine with one click from VM depot to your subscription to, to make it working. And of course, Mm -hmm. Who knows about, uh, who heard about open data, open government? So it's very, it's uh, going to be trendy. So it's worth to know that Drupal is perfectly prepared to, to be, to be uh, offered for uh, public administration as a, as a solution of uh, publishing open data. You can, you can, oh, we have it. Uh, we prepared the Drupal integration module to, to, to make it very easy to show open data uh, solutions on the Drupal websites. Okay, and in Poland, in Poland, I just started a not very formal program called by inspired, inspired by Microsoft. If you have any idea, crazy idea, how to connect open source solution with our platform, just give me a call or email or contact me, like whatever, and uh, I can help you to do it. For example, with one of uh, Polish uh, Joomla, advertising agency, we just finished preparation of two addition, two modules to use uh, Windows SkyDrive, Sky Drive, which is free, uh, free um, cloud disk, uh, seven gigs of free, free cloud um, storage, uh, as a Joomla extension. You can save the, your files there and it's automatically show on the Joomla website. We can have the same, we can have the same for Drupal. So, think about it.
If you want to contact me, please do. And this, uh, and one, one thing. This presentation is here. You can download it right now from SkyDrive. sdrv.ms slash zu small s 5 vy One question or no? Uh, no. No, no, one question. One question, okay. <laughs> Very short. No. Okay, so, uh-huh. Uh, hi, I have, in fact, two questions, but maybe that's one. Just uh, one. What about uh, module support for Drupal on Microsoft SQL Server? Because I understand that we use Microsoft SQL Server on Azure, yes? And uh, if we don't use uh, the same uh, database as the rest of community, then I'm afraid that we, ca we, we can have maintenance problems. Do you have any okay, so idea how, how the it first, works? The first question was about pricing of SQL? No, no, uh, support of... Support of SQL. Fr uh, support of modules in Dr Drupal. Drupal modules are developed uh, with MySQL in mind, yes? Mm -hmm. And what about uh, problems with deployment of uh, these Drupals on... Okay. This so the Drupal distrib distribution, which is uh, available on Windows, uh, Windows Azure, it is uh, prepared by Commerce guys, and is, it is uh, supported by by them, as far as I know. But through you don't you don't have to pay for this. So it is uh, it is our uh, our duty to pay them for supporting this stuff. So you can uh, you can uh, raise the the issues and uh, and uh, you have support for this. And the second question was about... And the second question is, do you have any documentation of deployment of Drupal on, on your platform? If you use gallery, there is uh, just a few clicks. If you want to use, uh, uh, do it on your own, uh, there is documentation available on, uh, on, uh, in the, on community sites. Mm -hmm. We don't have any formal documentation because of gallery. Okay, because we were we are working on a project where we use Microsoft SQL Server, and we got many performance problems with with that. So uh, it's not so easy. Let's say mm -hmm. that. Okay, so let's talk about uh, about it uh, later. And thank you very much. I will stay for uh, for after party today, so we can we can talk later.